Okay, I'm going to start spiking this 3 inch shell. First thing I want to do is put a little bit of Elmer's around the base of the spillet. This will help grab the string and also help seal the spillet in that area. I'm going to trap the string just by holding the string on there, coming around once and pushing it down into all that glue. So the first thing I am going to do is come over here to the side of the shell, anywhere, the top of the shell, come down, come across. Now that's on the left side of the spillet, left side of the fuse. I'm going to go to the right side of the center bottom. There is straight across. Here is one half inch over. Go straight up. Left side of the spillet with about a one inch gap there. Up to the right of the center of the bottom with about one inch there. Up left of the fuse. About a one inch gap there. Up right of the center of the bottom. About a 90 degree angle there and about a one inch gap there. Left of the fuse. About a one inch gap and about a 90 degree angle there. Right of the center, right angle, and a half inch gap there. Now I'm starting with my half inch gaps. Here, about a right angle between those two lines. If this one was straight, about a half inch gap there. Cross, end up splitting those two into a half inch. Left of the fuse, splitting those two. Split those two, going to the right of center there. Left, split those two. Right of center, splitting those two. I'm getting close to finishing the 16 verticals. And now I can see that all 16 verticals are done there. And I've come across and this line here will finish off the tic tac toe 16 lines onto the top. Now I'm coming over to the edge of the top just to the left of one of these strings locking it in there. Now I'll start to spiral downward on a 45 degree angle just to the top of the inside bottom disc one complete turn around and across itself to lock itself in now i'll start spiraling upward for one turn until i get to where i've got nice squares created on the side of the shell and keep that spacing about a half inch apart from the next line down, creating squares all the way up. Until I get to the top of the shell, one complete turn around the top of the shell and then a half inch and a little bit of glue to lock it in. I'd be a little more precise if I wasn't videoing right now, but I don't want to have this video last any longer than necessary. One complete turn around the top, just below the inside top disc, pulling that in nice and tightly until it just crosses itself. And now the little trick. It's just crossing itself. I grab the string and I twist this way, with, which makes a half hitch, which goes around the shell and under itself. I pull that and it cinches it off. If this was spiked string, it cinched it off nice and tight, and uh, I'd cut this off, smear a little glue under it, and I'd have a nicely spiked shell, put, put a little glue around the top to seal it real well, and that spiking would be done. And now I'll show the right angles, 45 degree angles, and dividing the spaces into thirds and two thirds that Mike Swisher was mentioning. Once again, I'm coming off the left side of the spillet. Mike comes off the right side of the spillet and does everything to the right. I come off the left side of the spillet and do everything to the left side. Coming over to the edge of the top of the shell, down, 
Now it's on the left side of the split there, so I'm going to stay on the left side of the shell bottom. There's one half inch, there's, there's the line directly across. There's one half inch to the left. Come to the top. Come straight across the top. Now we can see that the lines, top and bottom, are parallel. The, line, the side lines to this rectangle are parallel. Come to the left side of the split and turn so that I've got a right angle there formed. Go down and do the same thing, staying to the left side of the bottom here. Coming up and turning around the split again, creating a right angle and starting a parallel going down there. Left side of the bottom, come up, left side of split and turn. Always staying to the, on the left side of the bottom and the left side of the split in this method. Now I've got the first tic-tac-toe pattern top and bottom created. This one's a little bit off, but it's close enough for demonstration purposes. Now I'm going to turn and create a 45 degree angle here with just a half inch here and one inch here, one third and two thirds. Half inch, go up to the Go down to the bottom, come across. Once again, I'm always staying to the left of center, so I'm coming on a 45 degree angle across there. I've got a half inch here and up. Another 45 degree angle, which is 90 degrees to this 45 I just made there. Coming over here to a half inch space there and up. Across left to the center, up left of the spillet and turning. Got a half inch here, splitting that distance. Splitting that distance. And the final 45 degree wrap, splitting that distance and running parallel with this other one. We can see how the tic-tac-toe pattern is formed nicely on the bottom, nicely on the top, and then I'll do my horizontal wraps like before, pinning to the left side of that vertical, spiraling down to the bottom of the shell, coming around for one turn, crossing itself to lock it in, starting to spiral up for one turn till I get little squares. What do you think, Molly? Is it looking like a salami? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> My camera woman. <laughs> now I'm creating little squares as I spiral up half inches one on half inch spacing between the horizontals. I'll come all the way to the top of the shell, make one complete turn around the top of the shell till it crosses itself. Throw that half inch, half hitch on there and the spiking will be done. Wrapping it around the top just below where the bottom of that top disc is. Cross over itself. A little bit of slack. Twist and throw that half hitch on there. Lock it in place. Pasted string is locking against itself. If it's pasted, cut it. Put a little glue on it. And a nicely spiked shell. This, in this spiking, Mike takes a paper tube or something, puts it over here, and knocks with a mallet to knock all these string passes down around the bottom of the split, pulls some hide glue in that area, which really creates a nice fire block seal at the uh, base of the split where it's entering the shell. So there it is.